Yo, what's up, legends? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's something a little bit different. I want to show you how to make sick EDM tracks with my new preset pack with Sound Factory. Yes, Rave Room presets for Serum is officially live. We've got some great support from my from my DJ friends. Um, they really like it, and you will see on the website like all the all the people that are supporting this. Um, I wanted to basically. For Serum, I love Serum. I absolutely love Serum. You can do so much within Serum, but there's never really any presets for our kind of big room sound, harder dance sound. It's more focused on the, the softer side um, of dance music. So I thought it would be a great thing to team up with someone who I've been using his sounds for ages. This guy's a wizard in, in, in terms of Serum and stuff and sound design. And we made a Rave Room preset pack for Serum. And I am gonna show you some of the drops I made using sounds from the pack. So let's go through the demo and then we'll go into the sounds a little bit more. So there is five, is it five? One, two, three, four, five, six drops that I made. And I didn't think it, I think it only took me like two hours or something to make six drops using presets from this pack. It's that easy. Let's jump into the first one. Now the first lead that I used actually, lead number seven, this lead. Sounds pretty nice without processing. really ravey and it's got that like texture to it that i absolutely love i stuck camel crusher on it fab filter satin uh, blood overdrive some eqs this will really get the most out of the presets using a lot of distortion and stuff and um, that's one thing i want to do with my sounds i want to add loads of distortion so i don't like them to be like overly distorted to begin with um so sound factory did a great job with that we've got reverb and we've also got sidechain we've uh rooted it into this and i've also got a growth speed on there which gives it the gate effect <laughs> Can have that if you want, but I wanted the gate um, and paired with like the We Are The Ravers kind of sounds from my pre Patreon packs. It sounds really, really energetic. <laughs> Drop number two is really inspired by my track uh, Frequency. Now with this lead, this is a really gritty big room lead. Lead number 11, when you get the pack and you want to find these leads, it's lead number 11. This one. So crunchy, man. So crunchy. Processing is pretty similar. I like to go hard on the satin, the overdrive, and the, the trash. Really distort this sound. So again, if you want to get that desired effect, all you need to do is, is add those plugins there. We've got a delay as well. I wanted to make the sound even wider. We've got reverb as well as that. And it makes one really energetic drop. Such a rich sound, this one. The next drop is this one. So this is a collection of pluck sounds. We've got pluck number one. We have pluck, oh, this is lead number 11, the one we just used. And also we have lead number four. Together, they sound really, really full.
The next drop is a Future Rave inspired drop where I use the Future Rave ish lead and also the side trans bass line. <laughs> So this lead is lead number seven. I also used another sound from the pack for that kind of techie fill. This is lead number 15, which appears here in the mix. Maybe not, maybe here. Really, really nice techie sound there. It's actually lead number 15, and it just worked as a great fill. For the bass line, I used one of the side trance basses. I asked um, Sound Factory to add some really cool, crispy side trance basses. This is bass number three. Really, really nice. Has great low end and also has that crunch as well. The next one is a real big room side trance inspired drop. The lead I used in this one was lead 10. Again, similar kinds of things. I like to use the trash on there, the satin on there. I like to saturate it and distort it a bit more. It just makes these sounds so gritty. And all these sounds have great texture to them, which make them stand out from other plugins. And the last drop, which I actually like the most, it's a techno-inspired drop with an acid layer. We have lots of acid sounds in there and also the Future Rave lead again. So the acid I use is acid one, and as you can see, I am playing with the cutoff and the resonance. So you can really open up this sound and make it sound like a real acid analog, basically. Uh, and the other sound within there is actually when it loads is lead number five. This is a future ray of big room kind of inspired sound. In terms of the sound design, uh, the processing, sorry, I haven't gone over the top with this one, you know, a bit of saturation, bit of blood overdrive, distortion, and camel crusher as well. Um, just giving it that extra push. But that's what you can make in an hour and a half, two hours. You can make this many drops with the new preset pack. It drops on the 20th of December. If you sign up now for the pre-sale, you will save money. If you are one of my patrons, you will get an extra discount on top of that. So if you go to my Patreon posts, you will see if you are a subscriber, you will see the discount code for you guys there. And yeah, if you like it, please support me and Sound Factory. I want to do more of this in the future because there's not enough big room sounds for us guys who use serum and stuff like that. So yeah, please let me know your feedback in the comments and I hope to see you guys using the Raven presets for serum.